Hello and welcome to episode 17 of Eternally Destined. Today I have sort of a, an experiment for you. Science. I love science. Here is a plastic piece. There's nothing special about it. It is shaped like this. It just happens to be made out of plastic. You can make one of these yourself out of wood or uh, something that's sturdy, maybe cardboard. Um, now there's two sides. I have a side that has a small mass and a side that has a large mass. If I was to take this object, set it on my finger with the small mass on my finger, and if I let go with my right hand, the large mass falls because gravity has the force and it pushes down on the large mass and it falls. Okay, but on the second object that I have here is a belt. Okay, if I take the belt, which is a representation of more weight, if I take this mass, this larger mass, which is the belt, and I add it to the other uh, large mass, then I set it on my finger and let go, what should happen? Well, it should fall, right? But it doesn't. It does not fall. The belt is not connected to anything. It's resting on this object, on this piece. It looks really cool. Um, now, what, what, is, what is the cause? Well, the science behind it is torque. What happens when you put the, uh, the belt inside that little, that little slit, that little notch in the plastic piece, it, it creates torque that pushes back onto my finger, this twist, and it creates that force that goes back towards my finger, which the, that force is greater than the force pushing down by gravity, even though we have a lot of weight or mass on the other side. I was thinking about this experiment, and I was thinking about it in, in the in the Christian life. Sometimes, you know, our lives could be hanging out over the balance. Uh, it, it, it seems as though um, everything is going wrong. Everything just seems to fall apart and that at any moment when someone lets go, when, when someone that you trust or you love or you care about lets you down, when, uh, when you lose your job, you lose your house, finances aren't there for you, you feel like that right hand lets go and you're just waiting for gravity to bring you down but you know what in those situations when it when when it seems like you're you're at your worst what happens usually something good doesn't doesn't necessarily occur it's not like all of a sudden you you know win the lottery or somebody just gives you a million dollars and you solve all of your financial problems it seems as though more weight is added to you and I find that interesting because in this experiment, when more weight is added to you, you don't fall. You are kept in the position that you need to be. And the way I think about it is this. Scripture says that when you're in God's hand, that nobody can pluck you out of God's hand. Even if there is a mountain of weight that is upon you, as long as you are in God's hands, nobody can take you out. Not the devil, not your circumstances, not your challenges, not even yourself. God is relentlessly committed to saving you from you, to saving me from myself. And it's amazing. In the scripture, in Romans, chapter, uh, chapter 8, verse 38 and 39, it says this, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. There is absolutely nothing that can separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ. So when weight comes down on you, praise the Lord. Because if you're in God's hands, it doesn't matter. That's the safest place you'll be. That's the best place you can be. And He will hold you up and there will, will not be anything that can take you out of his hands. My name is Daniel Rowe, and I just want to encourage you along your journey because you are eternally destined.